Hello everybody and welcome back to Exposing Human Trafficking. I want to tell you something that happened five years ago this weekend. I had gone to LA to go see someone very important to me. And of course Brad Pitt found out because he got into my inner circle. And unfortunately the nature of many people is to sell out for money. And he bribed some people to get information as to when I was going, where I was going, how long I was staying, and so on. I was in Beverly Hills, and um, it was really weird because I, you know, I looked pretty, you know, nothing special, nothing extravagant, and all day long, everything was all right. But as soon as Brad got there, all of a sudden, I started hearing, Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Everywhere I turned, there was a man telling me I was beautiful. Even men that were with women were telling me I was beautiful. And I was like, this is a little too much. You know, I could have handled out one, you're beautiful, but it was constant. And, um, you know, I just said thank you, and I just walked on. So, I, uh, I knew Brad was there. Somebody told me. I just ignored him. He was real skinny, they said. But I was like, whatever. I wasn't there to see him. I don't want to see him. I don't want to know about him. I think he's disgusting. And, um... When I left and I was driving away, there was a black Tesla in the next lane that was, you know, um, driving next to me. And when we got to a red light, the window opens and there's this man and he's like, you're beautiful. And I'm like, oh, this shit again. Oh, thank you very much. And then he said, have you ever done porn? And I said, no. And then he said, we'll give you $3,000 to go to a hotel with us and have sex. I just looked at him. When I really looked into the car, I saw Brad Pitt was driving that Tesla. Brad Pitt offered me $3,000 to finish his disgusting sex ritual with his Satanist friends. So I said, no, thank you. And I was like, that's LA for you, huh? I closed my window. And, uh, when the light turned green a few seconds later, I zigzagged my way out of there and got away from him. Of course, they were still following me. I went out to Venice beach. I needed to go to the beach so that I could release some things so I could make room for good things to come in. And I did a little releasing ritual at the beach with um, encouraging good things to come in. And um, so I went back to Hollywood and I was tired, so I, I just got, like, a little rinky-dink motel room. It wasn't, like, in a bad area. It was just, you know, just one of these, like, you know, 40 bucks a night or 60 bucks a night things. And um, there was, like, you know, families and stuff there. It wasn't, like, a prostitution place. And I'm not in my hotel room, not even five minutes and Brad Pitt is knocking at my door. I saw him through the peephole. So I picked up the phone and I called the front desk. And I guess he heard me calling front desk and he left. But that's one of the tricks that they use in human trafficking. Uh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. That's what the human trafficking boyfriend does. 
they try to make you feel appreciated for your looks, make you feel like, you know, you're really nice looking and gorgeous if you have low self-esteem. Because with that validation, that's the good cop and the good cop, bad cop psychological game that they play. You know, lucky for me, I'm average looking. And so I could tell when someone's bullshitting me about something. You know, I have lost all respect for Hollywood. When you look at someone like Brad Pitt, he didn't make it to be such a megastar because he was good. He made it because he was propped up. Because he was pliable. Because he would do what they wanted him to do. To continue this human trafficking ring. This satanic coven called Our Lady of Endor. So that they could get more money out of him by extortion as well. And fund criminal enterprise. So I thought I would share this with you about this tactic that's used. You're beautiful. It could be the deadliest words you hear. So if you hear it a lot, ask yourself what is really going on. So give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell and share, share, share so that there's not one more victim of human trafficking. Thank you.